to another episode of Tasting That Chateau de Shea. And today we're going to be trying the Black Cabra Malbec. It's a 2019 and it is from Argentina, Mendoza, Argentina to be exact. I've had this wine in my collection for quite a while and it is also a value wine. I feel like people assume that every wine I review is expensive and it's not. This wine was literally like $15. So, I'm just trying to give you all some alternatives. You want some great wines for a nice price. You don't have to spend a lot of money for wine. I actually, uh, sommeliers told me one time that there's no difference. Once you get it to a certain threshold of wines, there's no difference from like a $50 bottle of wine with a $200 bottle of wine. You're just paying for a name basically. So with that being said, I'm going to try this wine right here. I love Malbec's. I'm a red girl. I don't know if anybody who's been watching all of my videos, you can probably assume that I really love red wines. <laughs> I was just saying the other day, I need to get more white wines and rosés in my collection. So let me know if y'all have any uh, recommendations. Just put that in the comment box and I will try them out. But yeah, so let's go ahead and give this wine a try. This wine, it has a very balanced mouth feel like it doesn't feel overpowering at all it's medium tannins it's not super high in tannins at all it's it's a very balanced wine especially for a malbec malbec flavors are more they tend to be more robust but this one is pretty subtle and i kind of like it I think. you know what it's so funny i feel like you can get your olivia pope on with this wine like you can get some popcorn and get you a oversized glass of wine and drink this and have you a good old time because this is definitely like most reds you you want to eat it with a meal but this is giving me like snack vibes for some reason like you can have some popcorn maybe like if you want to have a meal maybe some pizza i just feel like it would pair very well with like snacks and junk food <laughs> and i love it because sometimes i want wine but then i'm like oh but i want to like eat chips and popcorn i don't want the flavors to contrast but i feel like this would taste really good with popcorn for some reason that's just my first thought when i taste this popcorn all right, so now it is time to rate the wine. All right, so one means it's alcohol, so I'm gonna drink it. And five is, it's a Chateau de Chez staple. And I would rate this wine, I'm actually stumped. Like, I don't know, like normally I know right off that, like, oh, I like it or I don't. I'm kind of in the middle with this wine. Let me, let me shoot this in my way and see. Mm. I would give this wine a three. I feel like it's it's good, but it's not something that I would keep buying all the time or like, oh my God, this is my go-to wine. I need it all the time. It's not like that, but I do like it. And... But that's all I have for you guys for today. And make sure you subscribe to my channel, Tastings at Chateau de Shea. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and I have a lot of new content coming to you guys very soon, along with some partnerships that I'm excited about. So um, yeah, make sure you spread the word, share these videos and let people know that Tastings at Chateau de Shea is here. Get to follow me on Instagram at Chateau de Shea. Make sure you do that and I will see you guys next week. Thank you.